Alrighty. Well, I came up here and I was going to cut up this tree right here. And you can see how far I got before it cut out again and had plenty of battery power left, but it had cut out. Now you can see it is once again running. Um, I didn't just let it cool down. I actually ended up taking the whole saw apart and I didn't need to. Um, really all I needed to do was take this apart. I thought it was a thermal overload or a thermal sensor beside of the motor which caused it to turn off the motor when it got too hot. Turns out that's not where the sensor was. The sensor was under this cover. There is a heat sink under there that after a very short time, it heats up, but it doesn't get very hot. And you can feel the temperature right here and it doesn't get very hot at all. Now, that little temperature sensor, I'm not gonna show you how to do this because um, if you do this and you just keep on running it and don't even check the temperature on that or anything and just keep keep going, you're gonna burn the saw up or you're gonna burn that little controller out. Now, the controller, what it does, it takes this 40 volts uh, from this battery and it converts it to a three phase AC. And that, of course, runs the blade, you know, or runs the motor. Uh, it's a little brushless three phase motor, is what it is. I didn't even know that. I thought it was just a regular DC motor, brushless, but it was a DC. But it's actually a three phase AC. So, yeah, we need that little controller in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start cutting. And I'll just stop every now and then and check. Now I've got to get move some of this out of the way here. Um, that's one thing I figured out too. Now, when you're cutting trees and stuff, um, instead of just cutting and cutting and cutting and just keeping on going, I think if you stop every now and then, just every few minutes, cut a little bit, and then stop and clean up, sit the saw down, let it rest. Let's say you just stop and you take like, I don't know, 10 minutes and you pick up all of your brush and move it. Cause in about five minutes, you can cut up enough brush that it's gonna take you a little while to pick it all up. So you take about 10 minutes between like five, five to 10 minute run times and you pick up all your debris, then probably it's not gonna overheat that much. But what I wanna try is I wanna try with the modification I have on it now, I wanna try to see if we can just finish getting this stuff out of the way and finish cutting up a couple of things up there and just be done with the cleanup. So I'm gonna take some of this stuff and get it out of the way. You can already tell it looks a whole lot better here.
All right, so the pathway is now clear. I can get Buster out if I need to. And I can get up to this part of my property, up to the graveyard and other places. So now that uh, I have modded this saw, is there a revised um, review on it? Yes, I would say that there is. Okay, I cut that huge tree, cut through it a whole bunch of times. You see how big the tree was? I mean, I know it's not enormous, but it's a pretty good sized tree. Cut that all down, or all, I cut it all up. There's one leaning there. I'm about afraid to try to cut it but if it does fall at some point I know I can cut it up now so I don't have to worry about it now all of the brush that I have piled up you can see there's a there used to be a building right there yeah the building kind of um, there wasn't nothing important inside there anyway uh, there's an old swimming pool in there couple of other little things but nothing major so uh yeah that's no big loss i piled all the brush up on top of it and once that dries out i'm just going to burn it building and all um i tried to separate out all the bigger pieces well like these um and kind of put them apart so that maybe I can use them, maybe split them and use them in a uh, fire pit or something like that. Or these I think I could probably use in the wood stove at the cabin. Um, yeah, my, re my revised review on this saw is, I like it now. It, uh, it was okay before, now it's really good. Let's see how much oil we used. Not a whole lot. Um, yeah, after, just like I said, after the mod that I did on it, this saw is four times more useful. <laughs> it works much, much better. And you can actually get more life out of uh, the battery because... It's not going to be shutting off because that uh, that little converter gets just a little bit warm. It wasn't even anywhere near being hot enough to hurt it. So even after using it for a while, it never even got hardly warm. So yeah, it was way, way too, too uh, conservative of a setting on that little heat sensor. Now... You may be able to understand what I did. Um, I can't take responsibility if you take yours apart and there's a heat sink in there and there's a temperature sensor on it. Now, some people will know how to remove that and some people won't. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't know how to remove it, I would suggest not fooling with it and just let the saw cool down every now and then if yours does that. Now, if you want to be able to use the saw under your own discretion, and you decide when it's getting too hot. You can disconnect that little sensor if you know what you're doing. And it will work a whole lot better. I'm pretty impressed with it now, now that I have done that. Um, the battery life is pretty good. The thing about the battery is it's super easy to just go out and buy another battery, have it on charge while you're using this one and switch them out you know um, that's that's what I would recommend as far as battery life goes you're not going to get more than about an hour of constant cutting I've worked longer than an hour out here cutting this up but I wasn't constantly cutting and I, I'll show you how much is left it's down to half which really, to me, that is not 
that's not bad for how long I've been out here. And like I said, I was letting it cool down in between. But that's just a little update to let you know the saw is not real bad if you can, if you know how to do this little mod or if yours works better than this one did. I don't know if this was just a one-off and it was messed up or if that is the norm. If that's the norm with them, they have to be modded to be a really usable saw. It doesn't quit anymore. In fact, it would have to get really, really hot before that thermal overload would kick out. So I think I got that problem solved. Anyway, that's uh, uh, a little revision on my review for this. Now, with the mod, yeah, it's a pretty good saw. With an extra battery, it would be really good. Now, I'm going to use it a whole lot more. But anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.